Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 back another kicking action figure, not action figure review, screw me, the, with another graphic novel review. Justice League Volume 4, The Sixth Dimension. Yeah. This is Volume 4 of Scott Snyder's run on Justice League, which is very important to the future of the DC Universe, so I'm reading it up. Here's the read-up of the back of the book. The Justice League is victorious. Now the true battle begins. Far beyond the realms of our understanding lies the Sixth Dimension, the control room of the multiverse, where cosmic beings set our fates in motion long ago. Now with our multiverse hurtling towards a final judgment, it will not survive. Our only hope lies in the Sixth Dimension. No mortals have ever visited. But the Justice League are no mere mortals. Through a doorway to the Sixth Dimension, the Justice League discovers a future version of Earth where the hard choices have already been made and the multiverse has already been saved. All I need to do now is accept this gift and the battle will be over. But the easy choice is never as easy as it seems. As the Justice League learns the terrible secret of this seeming paradise, Superman must fight to free himself from an impossible trap, a universe designed just to imprison him. With a powerful being and an entire world aligned against them, will the fate of the Justice League and the entire multiverse come down to an assist from the Legion of Doom? <laughs> Tying into DC's Year of the Villain event, Scott Snyder, Jorge Jimenez... Javier Fernandez, James Tinian IV, and Francis Manipal take the world's greatest superheroes past the thresholds of imagination into previously uncharted territory. This was a good book. It was a long book. I really enjoyed it. So the Justice League needs to go to the sixth dimension to figure stuff out. Mr. Mixia Spitlick sends them there, but it's all a trick. And he sends Superman to a dark world where he doesn't really have any powers. And then the World Forger, who we heard about in previous volumes, Son of Perpetua, he has created this multiverse that's perfect and pure and good, but it has a dark secret, which I'm not going to tell you. But the dark secret means that the Justice League doesn't want to replace their multiverse with this one, because it would mean something happens to a lot of people that chose Doom instead of Justice. Because they're trying to make a good Justice formation before they're cosmically judged. And Batman seems seems to side with the World Forger, and he has this dope armor that can like rewrite people's minds, and it's just the strongest bat armor ever made. Hellbat who, you know? Justice Buster who? Uh, it's really tough. But uh, they they fight, but it turns out Batman was on their side the whole time. He just had faith in Superman was all. And then they figure out some, something. And they end up working with the World Forger and the Anti-Monitor. Not, not the Anti-Monitor, just the Monitor. They're looking for the Anti-Monitor. Lex takes on his Apex Lex form, which is kind of his fusion between himself and his Martian self, which does... Like, he absorbs Martian Manhunter in the end. So Martian Manhunter is out of the game right now, which is pretty wild. So Apex Lex is the Apex Predator Perpetua... Uh, wanted to create. He is that ultimate life form of hers that's supposed to fight the cosmos to defend her against uh, cosmic judgment. And it was a pretty wild ride, I have to say. Uh, it's nice seeing Mr. Mixia Spitlick, as always. Batmite was there too, but I'm more of a Mixia Spitlick guy. Uh, just lots of great stuff. I really enjoyed uh, this book. And I can't wait to get the next volume. The art was really good throughout, really colorful. You guys know I like my colors. But uh, we will be doing Justice League Volume 5, The Doom War, at some point. Uh, I'm also going to do all the Year of the Villain stuff and the Dark Multiverse tales and etc. All that's going to get done. I I'm kind of on a DC kick right now. I'm wanting to do lots of team books. Uh, I might do some JLA soon or some other... The, the Justice League run before this one, I still haven't finished reviewing yet either. So uh, I need to get all that done. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time when we review even more fun comics.